We're reimagining the entire OS layer, putting Gemini right at the core of Android. Hi there, I'm Christopher from the Android team. With more devs using AI and with Android being rebuilt with AI at its core, we thought, why not do the same with our lovable Android mascot too? Just like the operating system, the mascot has always been something you've loved to play around with and make your own. Over the years, there's been lots of iterations of the Android bot, including a few years ago when we launched Androidify to let you make your own bot. So we asked ourselves, how would we rebuild this experience today using AI? And the answer, of course, was with a selfie. It was a bit more complicated than that. So I spoke with Avni to tell us how the team used AI to translate that selfie into a bot. Take a listen. We knew we wanted to use a selfie, but how we go from a selfie to a bot was a fun challenge. We decided that first, we had to validate that the image could work and that it was of a person with enough detail to generate a bot. Then, we had to turn that image into a descriptive prompt. And Gemini 2.5 Flash, via the Firebase AI Logic SDK, helped us do that. It captioned the photo and also created a structured output. And then, there was the actual creation of the bot. And for that, we used Imagine 3. There are lots of details to getting the Android bot recognizable and iconic. So we did have to train the model. The Imagine 3 model was fine-tuned using supervised fine-tuning. SFT is a fine-tuning technique that directly updates all of the model's weights. This allows for comprehensive changes, enabling the model to learn and encode new detail patterns and produce highly specific and visually appealing images of Android bots. We ran a fine-tuning pipeline on the Imagine 3 model with Android bot assets of different color combinations and different assets for enhanced cuteness and fun. We generated text captions for the training images and the image to text pairs were then used to fine tune the model effectively. Next, we wanted to give your bot a vibe and make it dance. To do this, we used VO3, Google's latest AI video generation model to animate the bot. To simplify the process, we chose 10 different vibes, which are interest-based backgrounds, and wrote specific prompts for each one that you can select. The experience then takes your created bot, combines it with the vibe you chose, and VO3 animates it into a fun 8-second video. Speaking of getting the model right, you may have noticed that since the last time we had Androidify, the Android bot went from 2D to 3D. Getting that to look just right also took a lot of work. And for that, I spoke with Ravi on the brand team. To train the model, we needed lots of different versions of the Android 3D bot. So we made them for ourselves and people in the team. And in the process, we learned a lot about what people care about. Some wanted bots which looked like exact mini versions of themselves, and others wanted to just show their personality or interests. So we made hundreds, each with a variety of different clothing and hairstyles and accessories, all with different textures and colors. When using this data to train the AI, we saw a lot of stuff that did work and a lot of stuff that didn't work. But once we were happy, it then came to designing the vibes for the short videos. As mentioned earlier, the vibes are like visual references that VO can use to then create the short animations. We designed them based on people's hobbies or interests but still making them feel very Android, expressive, colorful, and most importantly, fun. Once we were ready, we needed to put it together for users with an app. Rebecca Franks on the Android Developer Relations team helped drive the app, and she started by building, of course, with Jetpack Compose. The user interface of the Androidify app is built using Jetpack Compose, our recommended modern Android UI toolkit. The app has many delightful details built into the UI. For example, the app uses the latest alpha of Material 3, which unlocks the newest design features. In this sample, we use many of the new Material 3 expressive concepts, such as dynamic shape morphing and new componentry, such as expressive button groups. We also take advantage of the new motion scheme animation spec variables whenever an animation spec is required throughout the app. To create the selfie experience that Avneet spoke about earlier, the app integrates with the Compose Camera X Jetpack library to do so. This makes camera app development way easier in Compose. 
The app also uses a custom camera layout composable, which supports all the typical composables that a camera preview screen would include. For example, a zoom, a capture, and a flip camera button, all in a reusable layout that can be reused across form factors. The app functions seamlessly across a range of different devices, from candy bar phones to foldables and tablets. This was achieved by extracting out reusable layouts and leveraging APIs such as the window size classes to determine what layout to display. So that's Androidify, a brand new version so you can make your very own Android with the Selfie and Google's AI tools. You can try it out for yourself, download the app on Google Play or go to androidify.com and check out the sample code on GitHub to see how we made it. We can't wait to see your dancing Android bots.